We've got a ton of headlines we want to get to this morning, and joining me now to do it, Today Show correspondent Jenna Bush Hager is here. <laughs> Amy Holmes is the co-host of PBS's In Principle and the co-host of American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> Akbar Bajavimila is here. I love that sound. Great to see you all. <laughs> Bar's yeah. voice doing that one. Yeah, we have a special. You can hear the growl. Yeah. yeah. You can only get that here on MK Today. Right. You know? No. I love it. All right. So, topping the news this morning, have you ever heard of the name Kelly Sadler? Okay, before last Sadly. weekend, had you ever heard oh, of that name? No. no. So this is a woman who works in the, in the administration, in the White House, who made this comment about John McCain. Is this ringing a bell? Do you hear anything about this? Mm. So she made this comment um, a, about John McCain not, not prepared to uh, vote the way the White House wants him to vote on a certain issue. Um, and this woman made the comment of, who cares, he's, gonna, he's dying anyway. Ooh. This has caused such an uproar for the obvious reasons. And she reportedly reached out to Meghan McCain, his daughter, who works over at ABC now, uh, to apologize. And mm -hmm. Meghan is claiming that, that in that conversation, she said, you know what, you should issue a public apology. The, the remarks were made in private, but they've, they've gone public because someone leaked it. She hasn't issued a public apology, and now it's opened up to a debate about decency, mm -hmm. about decency in the way we treat each other. It, it's not like she went on Twitter and said it, but she said it to apparently a room full of people. Mm -hmm. And it was obviously a sentiment she had. It was a thought she had that passed the screening mechanism we all are supposed to have in our... <laughs> right, you know, we've right. all said things we wish we could have back. Right. But there is a question about decency in America in 2018 mm -hmm. and whether it feels lower, it feels worse than it's been in a long, long time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, joking about someone dying of cancer is down there with joking about genocide. You know, there's never a right time. Um, and I think that she, uh, that she needs to issue that public apology that she promised. She needs to deliver on that. Uh, in terms of civility, clearly someone in this meeting was very unhappy with that remark because they went straight to the press to publicly embarrass and shame her. Yeah, and, and I think that a lot of this has to do, too, it comes from leadership, also comes from the idea that we're living in an age now of social media where yeah. people just feel like they can say anything yeah. and that there's not going to be any repercussion to it. And clearly, this was a, a poor choice mm -hmm. in... And, and if she said something stupid, like we all have, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's very easy to go out there and say, you know what, that was completely thoughtless. Yeah. Right. Apologies, you know, oh, and gallows, think, you, whatever, yeah. she, however she wants to try to explain. Teaching it. our children compassion and empathy is, for, to me as a mom, the most important thing. But another lesson is that you can you can apologize. Yep. You can make mistakes. You can say something that's unkind and um, say you're sorry. You can. You, you might not be able to get the comment back, but you can get forgiveness. But the casual cruelty that's coming from from the top down is something that no, no I would never let my yeah, child yeah. say something like that. Yeah, that's the saw, problem. And we saw that too, and, and during the uh, obviously the political debates, we see a lot of that. No matter where you are on the you know political yes. spectrum. N not something like that. A man who's dealing, fighting for his life, and then you have to come and take a low shot like that. I mean, a that's man me, who is yeah. so kind. I know. Right. Right. Some things have to be sacrosanct. You yeah. know, right. the the as a, as a man who served his country with honor is coming to the end of his life. He deserves to be honored. John yes. McCain was a POW. John McCain could have made a ton of money in the private sector. He, he's well off. Don't get me wrong, but he spent his life in service. I, it did occur to me, though, having watched this man and, and his dignity. Nothing Kelly Sadler says about yeah. him can That's affect true. anything yes. having to right. do right. with John McCain. Yeah, he's exactly. bigger than Nothing. that. He's, yeah. he's way bigger than that. that. Yeah. Okay, I hope she comes out and apologizes. I really hope she does. Uh, all right. So, have you been watching the paparazzi photos of Meghan oh. Mark, of, my, of her dad? Yes. Yes. Of her dad. I'm the book. The, 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 book. <laughs> the dad as he makes his way over to England for the wedding, right? Yes. Thomas yes. Markle. Getting measured for the suit, yes. apparently. Yes. And it's like, oh, he's just like us. You know, right. he goes, he's right. like looking at her on the, at an internet cafe, pictures of, of Meghan and Harry, and he's picking up a six pack of beer. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Then, like all these pictures. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. We actually had a conversation about it here last week saying, oh, he doesn't realize that the paparazzi's taking photos of yes. him. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> as it turns out, he fully understood, and the Daily Mail reporting today that they've got the CCTV camera coverage. He was in on it with the paparazzo. Uh-oh. Right. Oh, they, they have the Yeah, they yeah. worked it out. Yeah. Uh -oh. It was right. with his consent. And then, Megan, did you see this detail? So he's being measured for the wedding suit, and the tailor in the photo is actually a guy who works at the party shop. 
next door. Because the tailor shop was closed. Totally I, you know, I noticed in the photos though that there were flowers and stuff. I'm just like, this, this yeah, doesn't seem like. Yeah. Said, this doesn't seem like a place you would get measured. Like, no. this is not a bespoke. But you know what? I do have to say. <laughs> I do have to say the fact that they had the book and everything and the internet cafe. Yeah. It does feel kind of staged. Yeah, yeah. I know. In and retrospect. Yeah. Well, and then there's a question of how much he got paid for this and whether the queen is going to be rather unhappy. Reportedly, Probably. 100 grand. Wow. I know. Yeah, 100 you know, pounds. Yeah, 100,000 pounds. To yeah. me, it's like, yeah. oh, this poor guy gets like, he didn't ask for this to be, you know, juxtaposed onto the natural, na international scene yes. in this way. Right. He probably doesn't have a lot of dough. I realize this, like, I can you see kind this of... mistake, too. I forget <laughs> this one. He's oh, probably, no. You know what? I, I mean, if we're t talking realistically, he probably is not in a position to where he's going to say, hey, I'm going to ask my daughter's husband for some money because I know they're rolling with cheese over there. <laughs> 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 Maybe I can generate my own thing and it'll be harmless. Right, and, you right. Know, I'll get my own money. I can see that. I can but see how... Be, but to be yeah. profiting from your daughter's yeah. right. happy day, well, I mean, we know that's a pretty little crass. Little cheese. Cheese. You know what? Her <laughs> consolation prize... It's Prince Harry. Exactly. She's going to be fine. She's fine. She's got nothing to worry about. Um, she is moving on to enjoy the next phase of her life. The question is whether other people's children are doing the same, right? Now, you're a mom. You're a dad. You're going to be a mom someday, maybe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. have any news. I don't know about that. Um, okay. But the report today is that there's been a 70... It's at a 75-year-old year high of, of the adult children staying at home with mom and dad. The numbers are at a 75-year wow. high. And the question is whether that is good for us or bad for us well, as a society. I think we may disagree on this. I think okay. it's great. You know? Really? Oh, my gosh. Yes, <laughs> I think it's great. Really? My, um, my daughter says her dream is to live in a pink house and Henry and I next door in a purple house. And, again, that's a kid's fantasy, but I'm like, that's mama's heaven. <laughs> yes. You know? And I lived with my parents right after Henry and I got engaged, and it was one of the sweetest times of my life. Aww. I mean, it was only six months, and then they shipped me off to get married. <laughs> right, right, right. But um, I don't know. It, those memories will never be replaced. I honestly... I actually do agree with you. Oh, you do? It, before I had really? children, I would have said something else. But now that I have children, right? I, I don't want them to grow up. I'm infantilizing them. <laughs> I, I, my message to my children is you cannot do it. You're right. You do need mommy. You, you cannot make it out there without me. Well, you know, I don't want them to settle be for mom. Settle for mom. <laughs> I, I have to say I come from a very different approach in my family. Sure. Uh, my parents gave me one year after graduation. Yes. And then my mom said, um, I've bought the plane ticket. You're moving. And I'm going to ship your stuff in two weeks. Where did she? Oh. Where did she move you to? Yeah. Did you? From Seattle to Washington. Oh wow. Yes. Oh, wow. Did she Seriously. fly, she did, or you got to choose? Well, DC? apparently really? she <laughs> collaborated with my college roommate. Okay. They had this private conversation. My mom's like, "Yep, I'm sending her to you." You needed a you little take push out of the nest. I needed to get Ooh, kicked out like of the nest, and I loved it. it was and look great. how it look That's how it yes. ended. And now I'm on the Today Show. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I see it totally different. Um, you know, my parents they forced from. A very young age, they were like, "You have to. When you get 18, you're out of the house." How many of you guys heard that? Out. By the time, yeah. Out. By the time you're 18, out. you're out of the house, and that put a lot of pressure on me as a young kid, and it made me get my act together. Like, okay, I have to put all these things in place. I have to be very focused on yeah. what I want to do. But if you have the idea that you're going to be staying at home, it may make you a little apathetic. Yeah. Maybe you may not have that go-getter. And I think all parents want their kids to be able to go out there on their own no, and be successful. No, you stay with me. Stay with mom. I, I think, got you. I think the thing is, is that there was no, you know, of course we were going to get out there. I mean, my mom's like, why did we raise workaholics? She actually yeah. wanted to be a little more reversed. Yeah. We put our phone down in her present. Right. Um, but I think there is something about having these generations of people together. I, yeah. You know, I... I, I wish know. I had more time with but my how do you, I feel the same when you're living with your parents. How do you work it out? We yeah. work it out. Okay. We dated. Is that right? We, I dated Outside of the house, though. No, no. I lived with my parents when I met my husband. Okay. It was they were awkward. very open yeah, yeah, about it. It's funny because the first time I. <laughs> I brought Doug home to my mom's place, um, and this is, you know, I had already been married once before, but I brought him home to my mom's, and we were going to stay together, and my mom was showing us the rooms, and my mom goes, that, that's the room you're staying in. I wouldn't let you stay there if you weren't married. I said, Mom, we're not married. She goes, I know, but I'm pretending that you are. <laughs> I love your mom, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. She's still basking in the glory of her week on the Today Show. She, she enjoyed it very much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.